My name is Renier Vanderly. Uh, I did the Vinduino project, uh, and it was inspired by you know uh, water saving in my my vineyard. And uh, I had uh, I bought a vineyard in 2010, and I figured out real fast that this was you know more than just a big garden that I could maintain over the weekend. So I hired a, a company, a vineyard maintenance company. And uh, Temecula, where my vineyard is, is basically a wine area. So there's a lot of facilities and companies that do that kind of work. So uh, I hired uh, that company and they're, they're basically taking care of everything, if you let them. <laughs> and uh, I decided, well, you know, these guys come out uh, once or twice a week, they turn on the tap and then they come back later, they turn it off again. So they, they managed the irrigation for me. And I was not really happy with, you know, uh, four years of drought and no control of how much water I, I, I put into the soil. So I think I thought like there must be a way to do that better. So I, I start looking into what what is available uh, for uh, soil moisture management. And um, I found on the Internet some projects like Arduino that uh, use an Arduino uh, for you know, irrigation of uh, you know, your, your uh, home plants. Yeah. Um, so I looked into that and there was nothing really that, that uh, came close to you know, professional use or something that I could use in the vineyard. So uh, I run into these uh, gypsum sensors that you can make from Plaster of Paris. I made some and then they started to rust real fast, like within a few days. Uh, so I figured out, you know, the electrodes need to be uh, stainless steel. And then I figured out that you, you cannot do that with DC measurements. Uh, you need to have some, some alternating current. And then the frequency and the pulse length uh, matter a lot as well. So there was a lot of experimentation in that, but that's, you know, basically was the, the first idea. So I ran around, I buried, you know, these sensors in the soil. And uh, once in a week I ran around in the vineyard uh, with a with a Arduino Uno in in a plastic box and with that little interface that I made and I I, I took notes basically and put everything in Excel and followed the curves so that's that's how it started out and then uh, um, I thought well you know this is this is really awkward you know it's uh, it's a big thing it should be able to make something more you know uh, more appealing looking more rugged also because this thing it had this display that always disconnected for some reason so there was always something loose or mm -hmm. uh, it was not a good design so I wanted to make it rugged and that's how I got to the handheld design that it's it's now uh, in its form as it's now uh, still think it can be improved in cost and whatever but uh, you know, for for now it seems like uh, it's it's working pretty well, and then the next thing of course was uh, I live uh, one and a half hour drive. I live in Orange County, so that's about one and a half hour, one and a half hour drive every weekend back and forth to go to the vineyard. Uh, so I was thinking like, oh, uh, sh <laughs> maybe it's useful if I can do something remote. You know, so I I know what's going on, and uh, it took me a while to get the internet connection uh, right. Uh, originally, I uh, I ordered. Uh, it's a rural area, so you don't have cable TV or something else. Uh, you can get something, but it's expensive. So I uh, I started with the DSL connection, but I found out it's too slow. But also uh, the latency is is too bad. Even for IoT, it's just worse. So um, I came up with uh, the the remote version of the of the Vinduino that has a solar panel. It uses uh, either a long range uh, a long range communication module, uh, and for you know easy tests, I use the ESP8266. Wi-Fi module, but that range is about 30 meters, so it, it, it gets to the first vines, but not very far inside the vineyard. So uh, for the whole coverage, I need I need to have the long range modules. But uh, yeah, now now I have that connected to my uh, uh, ThingSpeak uh, account, so I can watch and and uh, there's also this uh, Java uh, uh, script that you can use that makes uh, nice graphs with you know all the inputs in in one single single uh, graph. So that's nice too. So I, at least I'm happy with you know, the way I get the information. Uh, next phase is uh, uh, correlating that everything uh, with, uh, with you know, how to irrigate. So I, I have been uh, working with uh, um, Analog IO, which is another uh, project. Uh, and uh, they have the back end uh, to collect data. And uh, I'm trying to get uh, evapotranspiration data which helps me calculate how much uh, each vine needs every day 
So I know how much water I, I need to do and that sets the timers for the irrigation. So the, the irrigation works with, uh, with drippers that are uh, one gallon per hour. So I, if I know that I need to uh, uh, water four gallons, then I basically set the timer to four hours. That's the way it works. <laughs> and then I use the, the soil moisture to, uh, to, so to see if, if, it's, if that uh, calculation is correct. So if the moisture goes up, then I know that I, c I water too much. Uh, or the calculation is, is always an estimate of a, a number of factors, so you're never right. And uh, you know, vice versa, if the moisture goes uh, down, then I need to, uh, what do I need to do? More water, <laughs> yes. So that's, that's the idea. So I'm working on that, um, meaning that uh, the next step is having multiple sensors, having full control, automatic control of the, of the valves. And, uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, because of the Hackaday Prize that I just won, uh, now I need to think about uh, how to spread that as a product into the world. So and the how did you feel uh, winning the prize? Oh, I felt uh, shocked, to be honest, <laughs> because I didn't expect it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was hoping, because, uh, because I, I was a top 10 uh, uh, finalist for the, the Hackaday Prize, that I would you know, end up somewhere fifth, fifth or fourth position. And when that didn't happen and it went up and up, I said, yeah, but you know, I, I, I rooted for other projects like uh, the, the wheelchair and I rooted for the, the bionic hand and some other projects. I felt like yeah, they, these guys are really deserving to, to win. And uh, so you know, hope got lost, and then suddenly, out of nothing, popped this. Uh, oh, you got you got this uh, best product award, and you, you also get a one-year residency at our hackerspace. Yes. Um, so there are going to be tools there, and there's going to be a lot of support to put together your your product. And yes. Get, uh, profitable. So I hope I hope you aren't too far away from Pasadena. Uh, no, it's about one and a half hour drive. Mm -hmm. But uh, I need to think about how to make that fit with my regular life. So like, you know, this is, uh, this is kind of disrupting in the sense that uh, I, now I need to, make th to think about how, how to make this work. On the other hand, uh, I think there's a responsibility uh, put on my shoulders now to make it work. So the original idea was uh, sa sa save water for, for you know, uh, people who need to save water. Um, I made a tool for it, but uh, the tool is only useful if you can put it in the hands of the people that need it. Because you're not so a full-time uh, farmer, right? You also no. have another job. Yes, I got a, I got a full-time job at a, a chip company in Irvine. So it includes international travel and, and a lot of stuff. Uh, but I can manage that. Um, then the other thing is, yeah, uh, the weekends I use for uh, farming. So, and then uh, the time that's left is for, uh, for, was for the Vindwino project which was kind of nice because, uh, uh, you know, before the Hackaday project, I could run it at my own pace. Uh, the Hackaday project gave me the discipline that I needed to meet certain milestones. And uh, by winning the prize, uh, now I need to do something else. It's like, you know, I need to take it from prototype to product. And um, it's not just making a product, it's also finding out how I get the product in the hands of the people that need it. So um, yeah, that's an interesting challenge, and uh, I hope next year at at the uh, at the conference I can tell you how how well it went. Yeah, come back with a good story. Yes, of course. Yeah, that's the intent.